Hello everybody, my name is Justin2982 and welcome back to more Horizon Zero Dawn. Hello. It's time. Are you ready? I don't know, maybe. Uh yes. Yes. I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. <laughs> Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Uh, any advice? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. The center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're going to let me in? I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Okay, I mean, I get some all set. to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. What? Take this to remember. Mm. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No. You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back it's my wish that you embrace the tribe you've lived in isolation long enough until now i didn't for your sake i must go where you will never find me this this is goodbye mm -hmm. Uh, but I will find you, no, though. It's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you. And you. Mm -hmm. I have to let him go. For now. Well, you know, I mean, you cannot After be that, that way and just leave. Ding dong. Hello. Uh. You will turn back, outcast. <laughs> Bleed. Your choice. Make way. Make way. Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Hello. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? 
But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. <laughs> we will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Okay, um... I wish we got to enjoy this every night. Not just special occasions. Is there anything in here I need to observe or anything? Because I mean, I see this. There's a this bonfire. Hey, bonfire! Hello. Oh. How you doing? You vibing? I'm vibing. This heat crawls. I forgot which beer was my favorite. Hello. Okay, cool. Aloy. Oh, you. you isn't it? Hey. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly. Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were <laughs> half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. Hmm. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Oh, thank you. Oh, I, I got a lot. <laughs> so, I mean, that's the... That's the default one that wants me to go with. Then, oh, and then I can buy these other ones. Gotcha. Hmm. See, truth be told, I probably like the look of that one the most. It's the most like modern looking one. What's the effect on the metal casing breastplate protects against melee attacks? So that I like that one. I want that one. I bought this one. Uh yes. Then I gotta I gotta buy it too, but I'm not gonna equip it. There. Cool, thanks. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. <laughs> Tirsa said something about... Envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Okay, well thanks for the heads up. Yeah, I got a more modern outfit now. Well, more sleek looking outfit, I should say. Anything in here? I mean, I'm Hello? I would love to eat some of this food, but you know, I can't save it this one. Jog. Get down from there. Bad enough you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? <laughs> oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Hello, I'm up here now. What's up? What's your jog? Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head. What I want is for you to climb down. What you want is for me to have no fun at all. Fine. Stay up on the roof all night if you want. Yeah, I will. Wait, is this the... the climber. What's the best climber? Jark. Listen carefully now. Oh, I love it. But you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from <laughs> all... Okay. People, machines, and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. 
but some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines <laughs> had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one All Mother provided. A world of metal. They told the Faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease. Of plenty. Nice! And so <laughs> nice! Okay, cool. I'm gonna just, uh... You ain't call that, thank you. Okay, that's cool, see ya. Hey, I'm busy. Over here. Hello. Oh, hey, how you doing? First, what are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Uh, why'd you come? So, Lara's heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? <laughs> Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think <laughs> less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. Hey, um, All right, let's. Yeah, let, let's do let's do this. Let's see if you got anything new. So I bought that one already. I could buy either of these, but I don't really need either of those, so. Or the scene here. Uh, ammo. You have more of those. This thing, you have a. Ooh, ooh. I like these. Just do. Oh my. Well, that does. That one does electricity damage? Let's see, a low da. Oh no, a low damage weapon that fires animal. Elemental payloads best used to put targets into vulnerable states, providing a vulnerable available combat advantage can be modified. Well, what's the oh the damage is down below? Gotcha. Slow firing but highly accurate bow is best used for long range combat when target precision is critical can be modified. Honestly, I'm tempted to buy that one. Just get a stronger bow. Uh, again, I'll take that, thank you. You know, and sure, why not? So, I have the... Always happy to tick. Thanks. Oh, that's what I wanted. Um, so I just want to... I can't really use that right now, no can I? <laughs> Game. Um, uh, just because it's 20 compared to my 87, 60, 30. Compared to 1625, so it does do quite a bit more damage. Okay. Do I need to... Ah, yes, I do require a specific type of arrow. Gotcha. Just max that out. Those are good. That could... I wouldn't make more, but I don't have more. Okay, what's up? Hello? In a moment, we shall bless the proving. Hey. <laughs> but first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. 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 <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude. Killers and slavers! Yeah! King yeah. Of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance, hold Luminance. your fruit, nor, uh, nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My mm -hmm. own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. Who mm -hmm. killed him? The 14th. 
Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah. Yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad. Uh, oh. The line. Hello there. I'm with my major glance. I got to mess him up. Just like mine. Hey, it's hello. The only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why? Well, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. <laughs> What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, mm -hmm. You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> mm. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. Mm-hmm. I want to know more about Olin. Know about Olin. Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Uh, nice I've armor? I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. <laughs> it has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. I Press thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? Questions? I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. Eh. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? <laughs> I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? No! Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Mm-hmm. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. 
You really should come visit. Who are the Osaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Hmm. Your sister? Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Hmm. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? <laughs> no. Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. Okay. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. Mm -hmm. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines... Well, they aren't telling. Alrighty. Tell me about the derangement again. Oh. Well, the way I hear it. No, 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 no. The Karja. The Karja have such a cruel history. How did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Meridian? Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. Mm -hmm. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. I want to ask you about... Ask away. Is Olin Tell done? me about Olin again. When he's not no... Okay, so cool. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable and well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, <laughs> look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing too so uh, see you around maybe all right cool hello don't you have a blessing to attend let's talk later bro i'm literally right here <laughs> oh i have to go down there move bitch I don't need your. <laughs> okay, okay, that worked. Hello, box. I'll take you. Thank you. I'm very surprised I didn't die. <laughs> Hello, everybody. 
Tyrants are in place. Uh, Aloy, hello. Take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Thank you. Bless uh. me, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her uh, honor, that douche. light its flame. That's for my mother. For Rost, really. In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. Oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So... From one to another passes the chain of love. I mean, Rust is the one that, like, raised her. Literally the only person that raised her, so. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. To Olin? Did you see those cards you walked in? Ah. Olin, what's up, bruh? Hello, Olin. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. <laughs> I got nothing to hide. You seem like you do, though. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Mm -hmm. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. But when we the spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Uh... Never happened Mine's to me? never malfunctioned. And I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then? I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. What are you but doing? But who even are you? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition and a second for his drinking. Mm. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander girl. A man's got to make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Mm. Give me some bad vibes, bruh. Mess you up. Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll call it good here for this episode, so... Thank you everybody so much for watching. You check out my links from my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, Discord, all that in the description below. I'm talking about the stairs. Uh, but yeah. I guess we'll do the trial in the next episode. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next video as long as you hit that like and subscribe button. 
See you then, everybody. Bye-bye.